guys, this is Grandma Cheap Cheap. I'm uh, taping here from my kitchen again, and since it is so close to uh, Easter, I have to get my Easter basket ready um, for my husband. So, um, I just want to give you a little background. Back in the day, we didn't have the opportunity to just go to Walmart or Kmart or any other store that has prepackaged uh, Easter baskets so our parents made our own Easter baskets now of course we thought we were deprived because we didn't have the big beautiful basket but as I look at it now we had wonderful baskets and uh, full of all kind of candies and um, Easter eggs and everything and little uh, plate things little toys and stuff and um, as I look back on it we had a better basket then than we could have uh, bought so let me just uh, take you along with me as I make my husband's Easter basket and I may not have everything that he's gonna get but this is the start of it and I hope it inspires you to make an Easter basket either for your honey or your your kids or um, or whomever that um, that you want to make an Easter basket for a neighbor or a sick or a shut-in person I got the basket um, today from Walmart because I didn't want to go looking for the one I had before and um, I just have some raffia that I had from my craft room and I'm sticking that in there I like that much better than this regular Easter egg grass I will use this at some time maybe but not in this basket so I'm gonna put that in there um, he can always use a set of bungee cords so I just got him some bungees He's always trying to tie something down. And it's pretty sad, but at our age, we have these um, uh, back patches and leg patches. So, you know, sad but true. I got him a couple of those. And he likes SpongeBob. Uh oh, sorry. SpongeBob square pants. So, this is an egg shaped candy with Spongebob in it and oh always always you have to have that chocolate milk chocolate Easter Bunny we used to eat the bite off the ears first and that's the truth and I got some these little Andes you get at the end of your meal at a restaurant so I'll put a few of those in there he likes mint and chocolate. Here's some chocolate um, and rice crispy coins. Gonna put those around there. And let's just give him a I, I probably will take this out because he drinks vodka whenever he drinks but uh, I don't have any. I might just go and get him some vodka and stick a couple of shooters in there, maybe a bottle of beer or something. And he really doesn't drink, but to make it more manly. And here's some sweet tarts, which I like. Now, by the time I I doctored this up. I will have some regular colored uh, Easter eggs in there. But this uh, is just a example of what you can do to make a Easter basket for that special someone. Um, so thank you so very much for joining me. I hope this inspires you to make a basket for the one you love. Uh, thanks again and have a good night. Okay guys, bye bye now.